administrative distance uh, in this section we'll try to understand what is administrative distance how it's going to uh, impact the routing decisions and what are the default administrative distance values we'll be seeing more in detail on that so administrative distance is the trustworthiness of the information received by the router trustworthiness means uh, nothing but it is going to decide which route is more trusted which route is more trusted if a router learns about the same route from multiple sources which route it is going to trust so that's something decided by the administrative distance so let's take an example so for verifying this what i'm going to do is i got one small diagram here so you can see so you got a router a b i got some router names here you can see a b c d e f g h i these are the names of the routers and i'm assuming that my source is a and my destination is i so i want to go from this source this is my source and i want to go to this destination now you got multiple routes in your path either you can go from a b h or you can go from a c d h or you can go from a e f g h there are three possible routes and whichever is the best route it all depends upon the kind of the routing we are using so let's say in my scenario i am going to use rip protocol so on on this router i am using let's say rip protocol rip version 2 so rip says rip will calculate the best route based on the hop counts right that's what we have just learned in the previous videos so we have seen that rip calculate the best route based on the hop counts and this route is having just two hop counts and this route is having three hop counts and this route is having five hop counts that's what i wrote here the number of hops now whichever the route is having the least hops that will be considered as the best route now according to rip if i am using rip so rip says rip says this is the best route according to rip version 2 but if i am using any other routing protocol let's say so generally not recommended to have multiple routings but if i am using a static routing then static routing who will decide the best route the administrator will decide the best route so let's say i have manually configured the next hop address to reach the destination i e the next stop is c and that is something manually configured by the administrator so administrator has said that if a, if any packet come for destination i network it should be sent via c and then it goes to d and then it goes to i so this is the route given by the by the administrator and this is the route decided by the rip let's say generally don't don't run multiple routings on the same router but if a router a comes across a scenario where it learns about the same destination via multiple routes so let's take one more routing so generally don't use multiple routings but let's say one more routing i'm using here there is ehrp or ospf now ehrp and ospf will decide the best route based on the bandwidth whichever the route is having the better bandwidth that route will be decided as the best route so i'm going to assume this route is having 1 mbps of less speed assume this route is having 2 mbps of speed and this route i'm assuming 8 mbps of speed that is via e now ehrp says ehrp says i'm going to see the best route based on the bandwidth and this route is having 8 mbps of bandwidth when you compare with this route is 4 mbps i think 2 mbps are out and then 1 mbps the best route decided based on the bandwidth and ehrp decides the best route to go via e rather than going via this route so now the same router now the router a is in a confusion now it says i'm going to learn about this network information from multiple sources rip is saying go via this route and static routing is saying go via this route and ehrp is saying go via this route so now the router has to the router cannot say that i am going to use one route one time i'll use this route one time this route one time this route no it's not going to work like that it has to trust it has to trust any one routing and out of this and that's something decided by the administrative distance administrative distance will decide and the default administrative distance values with rip is 120 that is something pretty fine and the static routing the default administrative distance value is 1 and the default administrative distance value of ehrp is 90 so whichever the value is less that is more trusted 
that is more trusted here. So in my scenario, which is more trusted? So static routing is more trusted. So which means the router says, okay, RIP, you are saying this route, but I'm not going to use your route because I have a better trusted information here. So static is much trusted than RIP or EHRP. Okay, so the router A is going to forward all the traffic always. It uses the static route as long as your static route is up. So which means if you run RIP and EHRP, it's a waste of resources on the router for just sending and receiving the advertisements. It is going to use any one routing based on based on the administrative distance. It is going to decide that. So let us see some of the default administrative distance values. Directly connected will have the default administrative value of zero. Static is having the default administrative value of one. And IGRP, no more used. It's 100 because IGRP is modified as EHRP now. And then OSPF is having the default administrative of 110 and RAP 120. And if you want to use ISS protocol, ISS protocol is 115. No more, not much used. Again, ISS is also. Uh, these are the default predefined administrative distance values and it is going to define the trustworthiness of the information so if i if i just go back and let's say if there is no static routing configured if we just have only rip and ehrp now according to this rip and ehrp i'm assuming that uh, there is no static routing configured here so it has to decide anyone based on rip and ehrp which is more trusted EHRP is more trusted because now the router will always forward the packet via the route given by EHRP and it install the route in the routing table via EHRP rather than installing the routes via RIP. So it always listen to EHRP. So running multiple routing protocols is not really suggested in the production networks. We just use only one protocol but just to understand the administrative distance we are just uh, uh, making it a multiple routing protocols if a router learns about one network from multiple different sources or multiple different routings, it has to choose any one and that is decided based on the administrative distance value. The least value is more trusted and these are the default administrative distance values you have to remember. And the same thing you will see in the routing table also.